Hi, I'm Sarah from HowToRunARetailStore.com and this is kind of an impromptu video because I was walking around my store just now and kind of had an appreciation for some of my hacks when it comes to display. So I just want to jump on and show you guys what I was talking about. Behind me is one of them. So this is a pegboard. They can be purchased on Etsy and other places on the internet. I actually made this one. So this is literally just a piece of plywood from Home Depot. And if you have someone handy in your family, there is an attachment to a screwdriver that will make these holes. Super duper easy. And then we custom made all of these little shelves. I mean, I just had the guy at Home Depot cut them for me. It was super easy. And then the dowels are um, also just cut. And so they are really easy because I can utilize this for whatever I want. Right now we have lots of shoes, so it's shoes. But in the fall, it, we have used it for um, scarves. We have used it for bags. Because everything is movable, it's totally customizable. That's a win. You want all of your displays to work for you. Number two, so I have two tables. Here, I'm gonna show you where I'm standing if you haven't seen any of my tour videos. This is my front counter. We have actually utilized two tables right in front of my checkout counter that will naturally form a line. It, it creates less chaos inside of the store, but it also, we put our impulse buys here. I also love that it is shoppable, shoppable from all sides. If you haven't seen my video on why it's important to have your displays shoppable from all sides, we will link it right here. But so easy guys just buy two tables form a line and put lots of your immediate well your impulse buy stuff on the table for example our sunglasses we have a buy the more you buy the more you save so people will come up to the counter and just throw two or three sunglasses on with their order because it's right here Another one, we have curtains throughout our store. Why did I do this? Because it creates a moment for these ladies, right? So instead of just throwing a bunch of mannequins around your store, we have created a little backdrop that forces people to stop. It's such a pop. And so people literally stop all the time and really look at the mannequins. Whereas it's really easy to just walk by them. We have tied it all in by putting green curtains in all of our doorways as well. That way it ties the entire store together. Another great hack has to do with your mannequins. I am a huge believer that your mannequins should be fully styled. That means earrings, necklaces, shoes, bags. You want your customer to be able to feel themselves, see themselves in these outfits. So styled, but guess what? It can be really hard to figure out how to put earrings on a headless mannequin. So what do we do? We either use sticky tack, which super easy. We go through boxes and boxes of this stuff, guys, because it's way better than tape. We do sticky tack when our earrings have that little lip on them. But then on top of that, we also use magnets. So there are great magnet options. This is in my Amazon uh, store. If you have not shopped that before, you can just put that bad boy on and then the uh, earrings that have a hole in them can go right on there. Super easy. Another quick hack is finding some black rock or other colored rock craft stores. You can get them from a pet store, throw them in a bowl, and it makes your products stand out. They are beautiful and easy. They sit upright. We use them for pins and earrings and bracelets. And even we have used them for our samples, our smelly samples for our um, candles. It is one of the things we always have in our closet because it is so easy to throw on a table and makes your products look amazing. And lastly, if you've seen any of my decor videos, you know what a big proponent I am of using books in your display. You guys, I know we have all been trained that the Lucite clear risers are the way to go. But if you want your store to feel elevated, get on the book train. And guess what? It's way cheaper, actually, than the Lucite risers. I go to thrift stores. I buy these bad boys for 50 cents each. You got to take the cover off and then you have these beautiful colors that you can coordinate with any of your displays and it gives what I like to call the anthropology effect. It elevates any display 
and it's cheap. All right, I hope those were some good tips and tricks. Little impromptu video, but I just really wanted to share with you guys all of my behind the scenes. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.